So, <laughs> I get asked, where are you? Where have you been? All over the place. Um, I feel like uh, people expect me to make more videos. And if we're being honest, I absolutely would make more videos. But I'm busy. And not just that. If you want just consistently counter scammers, counter hacker videos, uh, they're hard because, uh, honestly, only one out of ten works. I spend a lot of time trying to do the counter scamming, but as stupid as they are, they don't always fall for it or they realize something's fishy and they just disconnect on me. But because people ask me, I thought it'd be cool to bring you along kind of how I do the reconnaissance and all that. A friend of mine forwarded me a uh, spam email that he got and uh, it's like a phishing campaign designed to steal credentials. He's a service member and he told me that actually this email that he got, a ton of his soldier buddies got as well which was interesting to me because it means that they're actually targeting the service members. And if you don't know, I'm ex-military, so I take that personally. First things first, I'm gonna show you what the phishing email looked like. It's actually really funny because this one, it has a Facebook logo in it, but tells you that your password's gonna expire and it's 0365. This was clearly half-assed. And actually most scamming campaigns are. They're very quick because they mass email them to hundreds of thousands of people, but they're ex the fuck was that? Their goal is to get at least one to two percent conversion, but if you're sending that to hundreds of thousands of people, that's a lot of credentials. And then what they'll do is they'll use these credentials to get inside of your email, pivot into your bank account, social media, and then they start data mining or they look for metadata so that they can use that maybe to maneuver through your other accounts or maybe to impersonate as you. The end goal is, of course, to get as much information as possible from the target. On the link, it actually takes you to this page. It's actually pretty good looking, honestly. It's, it's not it's not poorly done. I do I do uh, recognize that. So let's talk about the reconnaissance phase. This is what that looks like. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do an nmap scan. So, uh, I'm obviously going to have to hide this. Don't care. Hacking is a lot of waiting. People don't know that. It's not as sexy as you see on the screens. Okay, so we've got our results here. Uh, it looks like right port eighty is open. That makes sense because. Uh, it's got that link that will send you to their phishing page. Nothing else is running. They're running some out-of-date Apache and out-of-date Tomcat, which is hilarious. And it looks like uh, 443 for HTTPS and 8080. I'll bet you that they've got some sort of proxy stuff going on. Uh, this is really interesting for me. Okay, so, hmm. I'm getting that it's a Linux box. Uh... All right, so let's go ahead and actually go to the web server while we can. We're here, and let's go ahead and just go straight to the actual page. All right, so, all right, so it's just stock uh, Tomcat. All right, so what that tells me is that uh, since there's no other pages that load for this server, this looks like it was hastily put up. It's just basically a server designed to host scamming and hacking pages. One of the problems that I run into is when I'm doing this kind of work is that sometimes the server was a legitimate server that somebody owned but is improperly secured. So a hacker comes in, they hack it, and then they use that to host their um, phishing campaigns, to host uh, you know, all number of basically evil pages. Okay, so it's a Chinese server, we know that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and default back to my theory that this is probably just the hastily put up uh, attack server that some Chinese hacker has. Maybe it's state-sponsored, maybe it's not. Probably not state-sponsored. The Chinese hackers are pretty formidable and they would know uh, not to leave their Tomcat main page open, but uh, here we are. So just taking a look at this is pretty hilarious to me because it's definitely an outdated Apache. It's probably got a ton of vulnerabilities. If I wanted to, I could hack it. One of uh, the old school methods to check is you try to log in for stock credentials, right? Now, obviously, these aren't going to be stock credentials because it's facing the internet, but it... Um, sure wish I wasn't recording this now. I don't know what to say here. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm in the actual host manager. Surely the actual access was not left def uh, as a uh, as default credentials. Okay, so <laughs> um, hmm, how do I? 
clip this into layman's terms. The more tech savvy among you are probably uh, spinning in your chairs. To put this into perspective, imagine that there is this like pickpocket, right, working the city, and and um, and he's like, you know, pickpocketing people, and he's good at it. And then, uh, as you pay attention to the pickpocket, every time he takes a wallet, his wallet just drops out of his back pocket. That's what's happening here. Um, I kind of want to show you uh, what you can do with this kind of thing, but um, that would be illegal. In fact, I think I'm already treading on some uh, dangerous waters. So let's just forget that this happened. Forget this. And let's... Um, okay, here's what we'll do. Uh, I'm going to say, you know, my fucking magic, abracadabra. And um, this is how you would hack into a server like this. Uh, and it's going to look exactly like the server that I was already messing with, but just it's not that one. It's a different one. It's one that I own. Okay, we good? All right, sweet. So uh, first things first, I have the deploy uh, war file, uh, which is public, which is fucking hilarious. So let's go ahead and uh, pop this out here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, an NCAT listener. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get that going. I'll probably throw an infographic up there later so you guys kind of understand what I'm doing. This is the most important portion of it, though, because we have to have a listener. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, obviously <laughs> I can't point this back at my own uh, IP address because, uh, first of all, I'm behind a VPN proxy. And also um, I'm not doing any port forwarding. And I'm not about to open any ports to the public internet, so I'm just going to use Angrok to bounce uh, the connection back inside of my environment. So we're going to say TCP, and we're going to point it whoops, at us. And last piece of the puzzle is to generate a uh, payload. I'm just going to use uh, MSF uh, Venom. It's probably going to fail, uh, because I imagine uh, this server has some kind of... Uh, you know, malware detection, that kind of thing, but you never really know. We've gotten this far, so whoops. Sorry, I've had a lot of whiskey. You'll have to. Oh, actually, I don't even know. Whoops. What are we doing it on? 18339. Awesome. And, uh,. Go ahead and do that. And, uh, one more. and we're going to call this whiskey dot war because why the fuck not? If I'm not making much sense, I'm basically creating a file that I'm going to upload to our target server. Once that uh, application gets run on the target server, it will create a connection back into my environment giving me administrative access, assuming that it's running in administrative access, but at least it'll give me a shell. So I'll be able to uh, basically control that other computer. So looks like our file was made. Let's do this. Uh, whiskey, 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 whiskey dot war. So let's open. All right, and we are going to deploy. So now we'll, there it is. Uh, we will go there. <laughs> mm. Wow. What to say here? Uh, let's see. Oh, we're definitely administrator. Wow. Uh, what to tell you um if you don't understand what just happened it means that from this little window right here sorry i basically have access to the entire computer uh that server i can do anything that i want anything that administrator can do i can create files i can delete files i could uh delete that uh phishing web page that people are falling for I could fill the hard drive with uh, pictures of weenies if I really wanted to. I basically have more control over this thing than a regular user. I can control it as though it's mine. I've basically owned it. So, <laughs> uh, 
Um, interesting fact. I went back to the original server. Fishing page is gone. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. What a coinky dink. Uh, and also, um, it appears like the file system is super full of a file called weenie.png. It's like somebody ran a script that just downloaded as many weenie pictures as it could. I don't know how that happened. I think that's hilarious. I hope that the scammer learned a lesson. 